Howdy, douchebags. Welcome to the first edition of Help Me, Captain Douchebag. Our first question today comes from Lisa from Iowa. She asks, how do you shave a cat? One with claws? And it may be a mountain lion, I'm not sure. So the first thing I would do is I would find that sweet spot right under the chin and just gently stroke it right here, right above the trachea. And just gently rub up and down between the trachea and the chin. Never owned a mountain lion. I've actually honestly never encountered one. But if I did, I would have to imagine that if it worked on my house cats, a mountain lion would probably fall asleep pretty fast. Next question comes from Freddie from Arlington, Texas. He asks, how can I get rid of my nose herpes? I've been smelling tainted taint again. Well, Freddie, first off, I have to extend my sympathies towards you. Um, I'm sorry to hear about your predicament. But the first thing I would do is I would go out and buy several gallons of bleach, mix some bleach water in your bathtub at a ratio of about half and half, and then I would pour some ammonia in the bathtub with the bleach, and just put your nose right down in it and just gently inhale for about 45 minutes until you start to feel the sting or you pass out. As they used to say about home remedies, if it doesn't sting, then it's not working. I would try that for about uh, a week straight and just see if it doesn't clear itself right up. Our next question comes from someone named Jade from Iowa. She asks, what species of tree is the best and why? Uh, personally, I would say if you're thinking about carpentry work, never pine. All right, just birch, poplar, maple, anything but fucking pine. You want your kids to be sterile and get splinters all over their bodies and have to be amputees by the time they're 15? No, not unless you're a fucking psychopath. So don't ever use pine for anything. You wanna, you wanna build a, a, a cabinet with pine? Yeah, well your kids are gonna be missing fingers by the time they're 12. Now, if we're gonna exclude carpentry work, then I would say, purely for aesthetics, I would, I would go for a nice weeping willow. They're nice, they look good. Of course, the best part of that is that they're a complete pain in the ass to mow around, and you can send your kids out to mow the yard, and all the tail ends of the branches will get caught in the mower deck, and then you can make them feel like complete pieces of shit who can't do anything right. And that's a win-win for everybody, because you have to put your kids in check, otherwise they become complete assholes. And also, I would point out that if the maple leaf is good enough for Aunt Jemima in Canada, then by God, it's good enough for Uncle Sam. Ooh -ah. And as always, I hope that we've all learned something here today. I know I have. Hey, Babin. Say hi. Say hi. You're just using me for my opposable thumbs. Come on, call these people assholes for me. Babin. Traitor.